Everything that you build in Glide is driven by the rows of data in your data source. Rows in your data source provide the information for your project. And then in Glide, you add beautiful pre-built layouts and components that display that data in useful ways. Creating an interface on top of your data gives you control over exactly what your users can see and edit and provides them with a much more modern, powerful and beautiful user experience. Your rows are organized in tables. And for each table, you usually want at least one screen to show the rows of that table in an interactive and beautiful high level way. When you start a new project, Glide will make screens for each table in your data source. For example, we've connected a sheet of employee information, and this is the screen that Glide created. The first thing that we can do is play with the layout options. This list is showing people, so we'll choose a circle crop for their photo and make sure that the list is small enough for many of them to appear on screen at the same time. And here's a table full of locations. Locations are great on a map. We'll configure these dropdowns to bind the correct data to this layout. When you move to a detail screen for an item, the context for that screen is the entire row in your table. You can tell what data is behind this screen by clicking on the data panel. The data panel is like a small view into the data editor where you can only see one row at a time. If we move to another item in our list, we can see that the data changes to show the other row in our table. A detail screen is different from a list in that we can arrange the components in whatever way we want. We'll add a new component. This component is called text and it shows a single value from our row. We can change which column that is displaying and the style for the text. Adding or deleting components doesn't affect the data behind your app. You can show whatever you want in components and leave some stuff out. This means that you can create different custom user interfaces around your data and only show people what they need. If we go back to the main list and click on another item, we can see that the edits that we made to the layout of components have also been applied to this detail screen. Whatever you do to one item's detail screen will automatically apply to all others in that list. This allows you to make very quick updates to potentially thousands of records. It also allows you to design screens for rows that don't yet exist in your tables. So if more rows get added to your table or your users add their own data, it will be formatted exactly how you designed it without you having to do anything. In Glide, everything is a screen. You might hear terms like tab, page, detail screen, add screen, edit screen. For now, don't worry about the terms. The main thing to know is that when you're on a screen, you'll see that screen's contents represented in this panel on the left. These are components. Sometimes there will just be one list component that fills up the whole screen, and sometimes there'll be many different components. If you want to edit one of those components, select it, and on the right, you can configure its settings. Layout is not just about displaying data. One of the most powerful things about Glide is how it allows users to add and edit your data in a custom interface that you control. Some components display data and others allow users to edit data. Entry components will always allow users to enter data. In other words, if we add a text entry component and connect it to a column in our table, any user that can see that component will be able to edit the data. But you can also trigger add and edit screens to allow users to change and submit new data. Generally, this is best practice as it puts these controls behind a second step for the user. So that's a look at layout. We looked at how tables relate to tabs, layout styles, the data panel, detail screens, components, and how to add and edit your data.